Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to share uh, some interesting finds, uh, tips maybe, or little tricks uh, that I've found uh, to use with my Sigma FP. You know, the Sigma FP was just released a month ago and there really isn't any aftermarket parts out for it just yet. Well, I shouldn't say that because um, Small Rig just released a few things. Uh, so I wanted to share my thoughts and my little tips and tricks with you. I have about five we're gonna jump through pretty quick. So, uh, so let's jump in. So the first tip, or really I want to try to save you guys some money, um, is this uh, handle by Sigma that came out for the, S the FP. It's the GH-11. It's $58 right now on B&H. And I thought uh, I had to have it. So I, I bought it and I put it on and it's, you know, if even if you have, I have big hands, but even if you have, medium or small hands. I really don't see how this is helping at all. Um, the pinky, uh, the part where you would hope that this extension would come down uh, longer for your pinky isn't there. It's still only a three finger hold on the side of your camera. And the thumb placement, I believe, isn't large enough, especially for me. Now, again, I say I have giant hands, but um, I think even somebody with medium or smaller hands, uh, this little uh, aluminum uh, HG-11 handle for the Sigma FP is not worth the $58, so I'm trying to save you some money. Uh, that being said, that leads me into Small Rig just announced their cage for the Sigma FP and it's now available as of uh, January 2nd, tw uh, 2020. And, uh, and the actual uh, handle on this and the fit and feel is more um, ergonomic for especially a guy with my size hands, but even a person with medium size hands. Now the cage extends down another half inch below um, the Sigma FP's body, giving you that extra pinky rest that you need for the ergonomics to be able to hold on to this camera. And um, this, this uh, cage uh, by Sigma is very well built, just like most of their cages are, and um, even comes with a cool little built-in screwdriver on the bottom. You can access, still access your battery and your uh, SD card uh, when needed and this cool little screwdriver just magnetizes in the bottom and it's just a lot better fit uh, I think it was 90 98 dollars or uh, I'll put the links below to all this stuff but um, for 58 dollars for this aluminum handle by Sigma the the uh, HG 11 I, I just I just want to save you some money and say don't bother. Unless you got this, a child's hands, this is not going to help you at all hold this camera. Um, it was a waste of money and I wish I could send it back, but I've already scratched it up and used it. So I'm just going to uh, keep it or put it on eBay uh, for sale. Okay, tip number two, which is actually a two-part A and B. Uh, tip for you guys. Uh, obviously, one of the draws to buying a Sigma um, FP Cine camera is similar to the draws of the Blackmagic Pocket Mini Cine camera as well, and that is to be able to record to an external hard drive. Uh, the FP is, is no exception uh, to be able to record to a hard drive, so uh, part A of this tip is that um, I've been testing with the SanDisk uh, portable uh, one terabyte uh, solid state hard drive and this thing is smoking fast it ha takes USB-C goes directly to USB-C on the side of the camera it's super tiny super portable and at Cine D&G raw 12-bit I can get 50 minutes that's right 5-0 50 minutes of record time 
Uh, part B of this tip is that, uh, uh, again, small rig, looking to small rig, uh, just announced last month their new caddy, their new holder for the uh, SanDisk or other hard drives that are in the small realm like the SanDisk is. Um, and again, I've been doing testing with this and I'm not having any glitches or problems or lost files with the SanDisk. It's very reliable. I've been using it for a month now. Uh, but this uh, small clamp is super cool and it can be placed anywhere. Um, it can go right to, mount right to a hot shoe like it have it today on the top of my handle or it can be, the hot shoe mount can be unscrewed and it comes with extra screws so you could mount it to a quarter 20 anywhere on your cage uh, that's convenient for you. So that was just a short tip of tip number two. Let's get to tip number three. So tip number three, this is really a, a niche tip, a very uh, uh, specific tip that I'm gonna give you and it's really only if you're gonna run the Ronin SC gimbal with your um, Sigma FP, boy, SC, FP, holy cow, how do you keep that stuff straight? So, um, uh, as you know, the Sigma FP body is very small. Lenses uh, tend to be bigger around diameter than the actual size of the body. So you have to raise the body up in order to get the lens higher than the plate on the Ronin SC. So uh, again, I, I finally, I looked to a small rig uh, who actually makes an Arca Swiss, um, very cool Arca Swiss quick release riser plate specifically for the Ronin SC and I do believe they make one for the DJI Ronin S or just the Ronin I think it's called never had one so I don't know um, the Ronin SC is much smaller and lends itself to a small, a small camera such as the Sigma FP so anyways you need this riser if you're going to use bigger lenses. Now the Ronin SC already comes with the riser. So you're probably asking yourself if you know, uh, why would I want another riser or a different riser? So the riser that comes with the Ronin SC isn't tall enough, nor uh, is it um, the amount of adjustability that you need to be able to run uh, such a, a um, compatibility with the Sigma FP body and say the Panasonic 24 to 105, um, which is what I chose to run with my Sigma for its diversity in, uh, in um, reach, so to speak. So, um, so you really are left scratching your head why the Sigma FP won't fit on certain, uh, even uh, shoulder rigs. You're gonna need to raise uh, I, I just ordered some cine lenses, which are a um, hundred and, well, gosh, I can't remember. The diameter is huge. You know, the body is only four inch, three and a half inches tall. And these cine lenses are, are six and eight inches in diameter. So on a shoulder rig, you would need to raise the body up. Uh, otherwise the lens isn't going to fit uh, on top of the rails. So uh, small rig devised this cool little, a uh, quick release Arca Swiss clamp, I guess is, is what I'm gonna call it. And again, all the links to everything I'm telling you are, are down below. So if you wanna research it yourself, um, but the tips I'm giving you today work. And, and, and because the Sigma SP, FP, <laughs> see I'm already confusing the letters. Because the Sigma FP is so new, there's not a lot of uh, uh, tutorials or, or explanations out there on how to hook things up with uh, with your Sigma FP. So I'm telling you, if you're gonna, uh, and it's an awesome combo. I uh, was doing a photo shoot with a buddy of mine at a gym with some guns. I'll post the link right here. Um, and I brought the Sigma FP mounted to the Ronin SC and I was using the um, follow focus and oh my God, what a, what a kick-ass combination between the two. Uh, it's, a, it's a must have, if you're gonna, run the Sigma FP on a gimbal, I'm telling you, it's a match made in heaven with the Ronin SC. And, uh, and now this small rig riser plate that helps you uh, get larger um, lenses on this 
uh, Ronan SC, holy cow, this is just too much information. <laughs> I'm going to have a meltdown. Jared Undone, where are you, Gerald? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, this is going to lead us into tip number four, uh, screen protectors. Let's jump in. Okay, finally, tip number four, screen protectors. Um, right now, as of the date of this video, there is no screen protectors that I can find, anyways, um, on the market for the Sigma FP. I'm sure they're coming. Uh, but through some trial and error, and because I own several other camera bodies and had some extra ones laying around, I found out miraculously that um, screen protectors for the Nikon Z6 and the Nikon Z7 are almost an exact perfect match. Now, I did uh, order a few more uh, screen protectors for the Z6 and the Z7 off of Amazon, just to make sure and uh, double check. I did find that the, uh, the uh, Kimilar, K-I-M-I-L-A-R, they come in a yellow packet, I'll put the link down below. They are as close as possible to an exact match that I could, that I could ever see possible uh, without going past the glass. Um, this um, Tech Armor uh, is, a little, is a hair smaller. Uh, so it's leaving a tiny, like not even an eighth, not even a millimeter of glass, uh, but it is a different, the tech armor might be cheaper. Uh, um, you might be able to find cheaper, but the Kilimar, K-I, or Kimilar, K-I-M-I-L-A-R screen protector is a perfect uh, exact match. And, and, and we should all be protecting our screens from throwing them in the bag or if they drop, you don't want to crack your screen or run the risk of scratching your screen. Uh, I'm a firm believer of screen protectors as long as they don't uh, inhibit me from the touch screen portion of uh, the functionality of the camera. So uh, that's tip number four. So I, I hope that you've enjoyed these tips or got something out of them. Uh, as I said, it's been a month that I've had the Sigma FP and I've been having just a ball with it. Um, they're claiming that it's such a small, you know, it's the smallest camera. Well, yeah, it is the smallest camera that does cinema DNG raw. I'll give, I'll give them that. But uh, if you were to put a, uh, a eye cup or a, 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 on the top of this camera, it would, it would be roughly the same size as, as my uh, Sony A7R Mark III. Um, or a hair smaller than my Nikon Z6 or Z7. But uh, once you start caging it out <laughs> and doing all the cool things that um, I'm gonna be doing to this thing, uh, as I said earlier, I just ordered some used uh, Cine glass. I bought some Rokinon Zine. I, I bought the 24 uh, Prime 1.5 T 1.5, and I bought the 85 Prime T 1.5, and they should be here next week. So you can expect uh, complete cage uh, cinematic build out shoulder rig uh, running this uh, sand disc, which I'm having a ball. I'm just having a ball with this uh, setup. I, it, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's super easy uh, to shoot with. And, um, and uh, if you haven't picked one up and you want to pick one up, I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, just keep watching the reviews. Uh, some of the higher end YouTubers hopefully will be getting there soon and doing their first thoughts on the camera itself. So, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, these tips. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, then please hit the subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later.